Hey y'all, we're down in the wood yard again. There's that old F-250. Uh, we call it Johnny Cash, because might not be all that pretty. Sounds good though, good old big block in it. But we're down here in the wood yard and uh, we're gonna get some logs set over here. Uh, get ready for, uh, for hopefully splitting Monday. We ain't gonna get nothing done today. Got too much going on between income tax and getting that done and other things that's a little more important. Uh, we got travel volleyball this weekend, so we'll be uh, doing that pretty much all weekend. There's some folks out there that's done, does travel volleyball and they know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, we're gonna get these logs set on here. Uh, we gotta take the bucket off the tractor and put the forks on, go over and grab a log, bring it over, set it, and we'll probably do about, it takes about 40 foot of wood at about 18 inches to make a third of a cord. That's pretty much what I try to do a day, the third of a cord, or at least when I'm home, I do a third of a cord. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do. That's what we're going to try to accomplish, get some wood set over here. we got other stuff we're going to have to do. So y'all come along, hang out with me for a minute, and uh, let's have some fun in the wood yard. All right, let's see if it's got any oil in it. Get y'all situated in here. Get this thing extended out. Ooh, yeah. I just love how they put these dipsticks in there where you can get to them. Hey, it's got some oil in it. Look at that. Make it so easy. I went today and looked at a TYM tractor. And, uh, same size, pretty much, you know, Branson. I like my Branson here, but I uh, went and looked at them. The thing about trading this in on another one, on a new tractor, and ain't nothing wrong with this, but tell you what, man, I was looking pretty close at it, and it's got some framework in it that's pretty, pretty beefy, if you ask me. Look at, you know, uh, pretty beefy. I'm walking around now, y'all probably see me now checking the tires. See if we can start this up. May need to put some lube on that.
Well, that's what I'm gonna get done right now. I got two logs here, about 20 foot long. Um, one of them you seen of is I cut, but I didn't cut it all the way, and I had to I broke it off because. Be honest, reason I'm not gonna come today is I ain't got no gas for my saw. Uh, somebody didn't get no one when I was in town earlier, or actually I didn't think about it. And uh, so we're going to uh, get gas later when I go to town because we live far enough away from town where you just don't go get gas for chainsaw or what have you. So um, you go when you're doing other stuff. So right now we ain't going to do nothing else. Um, so I'll get some gas later, but, uh, let me show y'all what I got. So here's the two, two, uh, logs here. I believe, I believe, I'm not sure. I think that's elm. I believe that is elm. Yeah. I don't know if y'all ever split elm, but it's no fun. And this here, I believe is red oak. It's got a lot of dirt on it. So it's supposed to rain this weekend with all that dirt. Um, so hopefully it'll wash that dirt off so it don't dull the soil and everything. Um, but yeah, this here is my little wood processing station. As you can see, I've done a little work out here. This here is my splitter. Got it under a tarp. Wind's done blow this up. And uh, that's where I put my scraps or slash, whatever they, whatever you want to call it, misfit stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to take some of it. I got to take some of that and start burning it. may do that today, start burning this. But yeah, it's already dried out. So we'll get that to burning. And also while I was moving this over here, I got a thing, I got to looking at those totes over there. I was thinking to myself, I said, you know, self, you ought to take a couple of those out down and uh, get them set up for uh, put wood in. I was going to try something new. I was going to cut the front out and leave that top bar and see if that'll work. I'm hoping it does. Uh, give it a try anyways. Because a lot of them I got the whole front cut out like on this one here. On this one here I got the whole front cut out. And I do notice that they, it's getting kind of splayed out. You know, sp spreading it out. But, uh, that's fine. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try that with the, uh, with the uh, top bar still on there. But the front of it cut out. So still I maybe could dump wood out. When need to and uh i ain't got but uh eight bins eight totes over here i'm lying to you seven that's seven totes so that's a cord and a half or three quarters of wood i can store and i'm gonna start building uh totes out of pallets um I was thinking about doing that then one day I, I guess Google heard me say something to myself about it and I started seeing it on my YouTube feed. So yeah, I think that's the better route because these are getting hard to come by. And uh I'll start building them out of pallet wood and and uh saving some money there. Cause I mean we don't we don't sell a whole lot of wood. Not enough to support yourself, but that's enough to have a little bit of money where you can buy you some equipment and stuff and, you know, keep yourself in shape and keep you, keep a, keep me moving. So we ain't getting no younger and you got to keep moving. But anyhow, uh, if y'all want to, we're going to work on that next. So hang around. Make sure I ain't no walls or anything over there. I go to jerking on it. They're gonna see me run out of here.
six. Sir. You know, it takes somebody to clean up around here. Ooh. Yeah, I got all this junk in the way. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying to get this here as a or I redone the exhaust and that Chevrolet, them Cadillac converters went out. So I read uh did all the exhaust in it. Uh Let's see if I can't drag this over here. I know I got a tractor and everything, but you know just sometimes you gotta do things yourself. You know. Some exercising. Get y'all back. Pull this one over here out of the way. Now, hopefully, this mic's picking up what I'm saying. If not, then. Well. Now, thought has come across just to cut this side out. So, uh, and then I could keep these crossbars in there. I thought about doing that also. And stack it in there like that. Thought about doing it that way also. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, that's too small. Hey, damn it. All right, let me go over here and get this. I sure hope y'all. Enjoy watching me, my tomfoolery out here. Uh, living life, you know. Wait, is this I'm trying to find that. I think that's it. All right. Yeah, I've. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Dewalt. <laughs> that's what I bought. Uh, As you can see, these, these two here are dirty. They ain't brand new, that's for sure. Yeah, I thought about doing that different. Maybe cut out here. Because I can still get my pallet forks in here. Yeah, even if I had, I, even if I pick it up from the side, it ain't going to be that bad. But I wonder if it, it would still hold a third of a cord. I'd just stack it like that, long ways. And then just pour it out, and I can leave these across here after I pull this bladder out. That's an idea. And it's already threaded, don't have to do nothing fancy. I might try that with this one. You know? Yeah, and that way I can. I got all the, all the hardware and everything is still here. So it could definitely. Uh, Probably work. We'll give it a shot though. First time I dump wood out of it, I'll know. We're just going to do one this way. You know, I mean, I ain't going to throw it away if it don't work. I can still stack wood in it. Still use it dry. I can probably still dump wood out of it. So, yeah. Over here, I got to get, yeah, there's my saws off. You need to put the battery on it. I don't know about y'all, but y'all ever have stuff in your in your shop and stuff? It seems like it just gets piled up at the door sometimes when you ain't got you know big concrete floor and all that jazz. Yeah, that's the way it is for me. I 
having to stop. I'm going to turn this into a, uh, into a, uh, burn barrel yet or not. Anyhow. All right. Go ahead and pull these off. Pull them out. Ladder out that quick. Move y'all back a little bit. I hope this mic's still connected. Let me see. There's a green line on it somewhere. Yep, still green. Oh. Is there a grounding strap on this one? I don't know. It is. I'll cut it off. Well, that was easy. Almost had a button on it. Y'all let me know if I'm talking too much. In the comments. You know, comment right after you, you subscribe to the channel. And throw a like there. And if uh, you don't like it, do a double tap on the dislike. So, all right. Let me get these things out of there. I'm glad to put. I gotta come down here and take all these and put them in my dumpster. I'll tell you what, we got a little small local trash uh, pickup service. Um, and, uh, the guy that owns the business, he uh, his reputation is how great he treats his employees and how hard these, these folks work for him because of how he treats them. Uh, he pays them good too. I mean, for our area, I don't know what everybody gets paid where they live, but and my boys work hard. I had a issue once. They missed my trash. I think it was a new guy on the route or something. And uh, well, we called up there, and it wasn't just a little bit, an hour or two maybe. They they come up and got her trash, and it was, it was real nice, you know, especially living out here in the rural area. I mean. Some folks call this rule. It's dark. Tell you what, this here is one of the best purchases I ever made. Not necessarily the brand. The brand's all right. I ain't got no complaints. It's pretty much in that ecosystem now. But the battery powered reciprocating saw. Saw is all. Some people call it. Awesome. All right. Let me. Bring y'all a little closer. Y'all can see any mistakes I made and tell me how bad I did. So I'm just going to take it. Oh, let me situate y'all a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run down this line here. And go around that bottom. Go around that other side. And then I'm going to put them crossbars back in there. Well, actually, I have to do that now, huh? Once I cut this, it, was just, it might move. Let me go ahead and do that now. Well, I'm thinking about it. Hold on, y'all. Get these bolts over here. And yeah, I got more than one battery for my DeWalt stuff, but it's it's a uh, One's in the truck over there. I gotta swap batteries. If I do this, screw this in a little bit where it'll stay. Maybe. Easy. Yeah. You know. 
Yeah, I got this microphone because you know, my other videos I'm pretty much talking the microphone on the phone or the iPad or whichever one I'm using is my primary uh, of my microphone. And I did notice that it was kind of hard to hear me and I was having to um, really boost boost my voice in editing so hopefully these work good and the audio ain't too horrible so And yes, I've got to put my phone on airplane mode. So, y'all probably heard that text message come in. Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. Yeah, I may be on myself with this. I know there's probably better ideas in other places, but this is my idea right now. Yeah, it's funny, I forgot to, I totally forgot when I took my daughter to school this morning. It's I, I work nights, I work nights just go around and we we uh, rotate that out at work and I've been throwed off since I've been back home. It was my last hitch of nights, thank goodness, but for a little while. And working nights throws me off, I don't know about y'all, but it does me, it's tough. And swapping back to days, you get home and got stuff you got to do, and you, you just you ain't quite thinking straight. So, yeah, I think that's gonna work out real good. Yeah, back in here. All right, we're going to speed this up. That way y'all ain't got to hear all this noise. Well, we'll go. We'll let you hear the first part right here. I like going this way because I can't cut a straight line. All right, we're going to cut the rest of it. In case y'all wonder, these are safety glasses. They just ain't got the side chip on. It's easy 87. So I cut the front of it out, or the side actually. So, and I left these crossbars in, and that way it hopefully will not uh, splayed out, stretch out, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to try this. And if that doesn't work, if it, it will hold, if I go all the way about right here, it'll be a full third of a cord. It'll be just over 40, about right at 43 cubic feet. 42, 43. So, that's the plan. And uh, I think it'll work. I'm going to stack, I'm going to stack it like you normally would when you go like this. I may try, I may try it this way though. I think I'll go this way and bring it up. Uh... It'll be four foot this way. So probably three rows this way. Yeah, stack three rows in it. I think that'll work. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be my idea. I know there's about 900, yeah, it's about, about 900 ideas of doing this. Everybody's different. I'm kinda liking this because I don't have this to throw away. And 
if in case the wood won't stay in there or wants to fall out or whatever or trans if I'm transported in here I can easily take this set it right there and strap it on and I'll hold the wood in so <sighs> anyway Well, y'all, that's about all I'm going to get done down here for right now. Uh, like I said, we got volleyball and everything this weekend. Uh, and I got some other stuff I got to get done before we do that. So, y'all, uh, y'all, please, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Be positive. Uh, nobody in this world started out knowing everything. So, love your family. Y'all have a blessed day.